Hello to all and thanks for joining us in session 30 of this MTCNA program. We are at the end of module 2 and before moving on to the next chapter of this course, we would like to go over the topics covered in this module and share with you our plans for the rest of the course. We will first have a very short glance at the topics covered so far and we will then discuss the arrangement of future topics down the road. We started module 2 with DHCP or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol and after an introduction to DHCP, we covered the relevant topics of DHCP client, DHCP server, lease and lease management and address resolution protocol. For this purpose, we referred to our MTCNA home lab network for a set of practical examples. First setting up a DHCP client on the trainee router and a DHCP server on the class access point. Next, we got into the details of leases, saw how the DHCP client would begin the process by sending out a broadcast to 255, 255, 255, 255, and went over the details of this interaction that would culminate with the DHCP server providing the necessary IP host information to the client. And finally, in episode 29, we mentioned that when IP hosts want to communicate over an IP network, they need to know each other's MAC addresses as well. Thus, ARP, as a critical function of the Internet Protocol Suite, will be used to discover and map Layer 2 MAC addresses and their respective Layer 3 IP addresses. And in our discussion about ARP, we also found out that static ARP records whose mode has been set to reply only can act as effective security measures to safeguard your network from unwelcome traffic. So that's it for Module 2 and now let's talk about our next chapter. This is the standard order of the modules of Microtech's MTCNA program. So far, we've dealt with modules 1 and 2, and we have 7 more modules to go. However, based on our many years of teaching Microtech courses, module 6 that deals with the interesting topic of firewall configuration is a subject that is repeatedly mentioned in other MTCNA modules, such as routing, QoS, and tunnels. In these three modules, you will come across many examples related to firewall configurations. Therefore, the better you understand firewalls, the easier you'll learn about the subjects of routing, QoS, and tunnels. Moreover, modules 4, 6, 7, and 8 operate in a layer 3 network, whereas the bridging and wireless modules are almost completely related to layers 1 and 2, which means we'll have to modify our MTCNA home lab for modules 3 and 5. Therefore, with the aim of giving you a much better and easier learning experience, while still covering all the topics included in the MTCNA course outline, we're going to make a little modification in the order of these modules and postpone the subjects of bridging and wireless for a later time. As for our next module, we'll head over to firewall and begin this new chapter with the very interesting topic of packet flow. To stay on top of everything, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel where you will receive constant video updates or head over to our MTCNA course page where you'll find all current and upcoming videos neatly sorted in the modular order we just talked about. Thank you for watching. As always, we're here to answer all your MTCNA questions, so don't hold back. And stay tuned for the next tutorial because things are about to get much more interesting.